Hello again. Um, this is my lesson plan on music and relationships. Um, this lesson is going to focus on unhealthy and healthy relationships. I plan on teaching music, specifically choir, and grade-wise I hope to teach high school students. So the grades for this lesson plan are 9th through 12th grade. Um, the time it should take to complete this lesson, it should be a day, but I'm allowing a second day depending on how fast or slow it takes my class to get through the activities and discussions. So the overview of this lesson is my students will listen to four songs about healthy and unhealthy relationships and will learn about the red flags and warning signs that they should look out for when pursuing platonic and non-platonic relationships. The materials that they'll need for this lesson is a piece of paper or two and a pencil. Um, the teacher performing the lesson plan should have a projector, a whiteboard, some speakers, and access to YouTube or some sort of music streaming service. The goals for this lesson is that my students will be able to identify healthy and unhealthy relationships through listening to popular music by a multitude of artists. Um, I listed my California health standards. So the first one is injury prevention and safety, recognizing the characteristics of bullying. I listed four under mental, emotional, and social health. So identifying a variety of emotions, describing characteristics that may make each individual unique, show how to express personal needs and wants appropriately, and encouraging others when they engage in safe and healthy behaviors. My common core standards for music are developing strategies to address expressive challenges in a varied repertoire of music and evaluate their success using feedback from ensemble, peers, and other sources to refine their performances. Um, the second one is apply critique uh, criteria to select music for specified purposes, supporting choices by citing characteristics found in the music and connections to interest, purpose, and context. The last one I listed was develop and justify evaluations of music, programs of music, and performances based on criteria, personal decision making, research, and understanding of context. So for my procedure, um, the first thing that I want my students to do is sit in a large group in front of the projector um, that I will use to project the music on. I think it's important for this lesson to feel, for the students to feel as if we're unified in one group to feel safe and comforted. Um, I will start the lesson by asking them about what they think healthy and unhealthy relationships look like. And based on what they say, I will make a list on either a Word document on the projector or a whiteboard if I have one. And that should take around five minutes to do. Then after we make our list, um, we will get into the music. And the music I chose to play for them, it should take about 15 minutes to get through. I chose Taylor Swift's Dear John. Uh, One Step Forward, Two Steps Back by Olivia Rodrigo, As You Are by Charlie Puth, and Count on Me by Bruno Mars. The first two describe unhealthy relationships, and the last two describe healthy relationships. Um, and these include friendships as well. They're not just about romantic relationships. And I ask that as the students are listening to the music, um, that they take notes, mental or physical notes, and we will reflect on the pieces after we finish listening to them. Um, after we finish listening to the pieces, I will ask them about their initial thoughts on the first two songs, which should take about five minutes, and then I will pull up the lyrics to those songs so that they can see them, and we'll discuss um, and pick apart at least two songs, one about healthy relationships, the other about an unhealthy relationship. Um, and we'll discuss what the, if we see healthy characteristics or unhealthy characteristics in both songs. Um, and then drawing from that new information we learned from listening to these songs, we will add or take away from the list that we made earlier in class. 
The last thing that we'll do is hold a discussion just to, to describe what we learned from the songs and discuss personal experiences if, if the class feels comfortable. For the assessment, I ask that for the remaining time in the class period to write down a li their own list of unhealthy and healthy relationship characteristics and write down if they have experienced either of these types of relationships before and then to write down examples for themselves um, as references so that they can use those examples of unhealthy and healthy relationships for them in the future so they have something to build off of. And that ends my lesson. Thank you for listening.